Hi, I'm Greg with the Ashcraft Firm, and I'm an estate planning attorney, and over the next four weeks I'm going to be talking to you about how to pass property at time of death. And really there's four basic ways to pass property at time of death. First, this week we'll be talking about passing property through your estate, and then the following weeks we're going to be talking about passing property by contract, joint tenancy, and trust. So what does it mean when we're saying we're passing property? through the estate or by the estate. What it really means is probate. Okay, so if you're not passing property through any of the three other ways that we're gonna be talking about in the next weeks, then you're gonna be passing property through your estate and it will go through probate. Um, if it's in California, if it's under $150,000, if your gross estate is under $150,000, then it doesn't have to go through the full formal probate. But most estates here, if you own a piece of real property, at least here in Southern California, you are going to go through probate, a full-fledged probate process. Because again, we're talking about gross estate. So they pretend like you don't have any debts. So. When we're talking about passing property by your estate, it means you haven't done, passed it by contract, you haven't passed it through joint tenancy, and you haven't passed it through a trust. Um, even if you create a will, your property still has to go through probate. That will is essentially a letter to the probate judge. So uh, first, let me, let me give you the definition of probate. Probate is essentially the court process that returns property back to the land of the living. So a lot of people think that probate is actually a tax. It's not a tax. It's just a costly court procedure that returns property back to the land of the living. Because a lot of people here in California, they hear probate's bad, it's this bad tax. It's, it's actually bad, but it's a court process. So, um, <clears throat> okay, so some of the pros of passing property by your estate is it is really easy to set up. Essentially, if you do nothing, your property is going to go through that probate plan. Um, another pro is that you have court oversight. Okay, so if you want the court to oversee the your your property being distributed, then it might be the right thing to pass your property through your estate. Most people find it's not because what comes along with that court oversight is the, the four big cons that I want to talk to you about. First, it's time consuming. So it takes between 9 and 12 months to pass property through a full formal probate. Um, also, you lose control. Because who's ultimately in charge of what happens in that probate process? The person who's in, in charge is the judge. Third, you lose privacy. Now, I want to take a minute to talk about privacy. So, a lot of people think, nah, I'm not famous, who cares what's in my estate? The problem is if you've ever been through a probate, you'll know that you get, if, if you had a piece of real property in that probated estate, you know you'll get hundreds of phone calls from realtors that are trying to get you to sell the property through them. So they'll call up and say, I'm sorry for your loss, but let me sell you sell the property that you own. Um, and, and so there's a lot of hassle that goes along with everything being public record because everybody can just look everything up online. So if there is somebody out there that wants to take advantage of somebody or something like that, they can actually go online and look these things up to see what kind of assets people are getting because it's all part of the public record. So even though you think that it might not be important to many people because you're not famous or anything like that, there are concerns to having your personal information public for everybody. So, um, and then number four here, uh, it's, it's costly. Costs, so if it was like the Yelp ad, then we'd be talking about $4 signs here. Um, and there's a way to calculate the costs that are associated with probate, and I'm not gonna go through that with you today, 
but it is all based on your gross estate. Again, they pretend like you don't have any debts when they're calculating how much probate is going to cost. And the fees get pretty exorbitant pretty fast. Um, so those are some of the big uh, downsides of just letting your property pass through the estate. But it is easy to set up. And if you need court oversight, it's there. So if you want to be notified about the video next week when we talk about passing property by contract, there will be a pop-up and you can just list your name and your email address and then you'll get notification when that video goes live. Thanks so much for listening.